Seattle kids are lucky. They're growing up in a lovely green city. Many things grow well here along with the kids, and the name Emerald City really fits. Visitors notice Seattle parks and gardens, and often mention how clean, green, and alive the city looks. Along Seattle streets, trees have a story all their own to tell. Once, our town site looked a lot like this. Big trees were everywhere. The lumber industry and Henry Yesler's sawmill provided the city's first payrolls. People knew a good thing when they saw it. They elected Henry Yesler mayor. Cutting down the forest continued as Seattle grew. By 1900, what is now Capitol Hill was nearly all logged off. Streets, sidewalks, and houses took the place of the forest, but a few new trees were planted. The trees that did grow along the streets were planted by people living nearby. Except for some trees planted along a few boulevards, the city didn't plant new street trees. The 1962 World's Fair marked a turning point for Seattle and for Seattle trees. Even though trees were planted around the Seattle center and along downtown streets, Seattle still had a limited public tree planting program. Since 1962, all this has changed. Pioneer Square, where Henry Esler's sawmill once stood, now has a leafy bonnet whose seasonal colors bring nature back into the heart of the city. Planting in Pioneer Square was just the beginning. When Seattle voters passed the forward thrust bond issue in the late 1960s, Seattle's new city forest began to take shape. Trees were planted along the city's heavily traveled arterial streets. All over Seattle, the results have been dramatic. The green forest is making a comeback. People continue to plant trees in front of their houses in one of the strongest private planting efforts in America. This special partnership helps keep the cost down and gives the homeowner an added bonus. Property values rise for a home with large, well cared for trees nearby. In some areas of Seattle, the trees were planted along neighborhood streets. Thousands of these trees have helped to make neighborhoods all over Seattle more attractive. Spring flowers and autumn foliage brighten the streets.
Street trees are becoming part of Seattle's shopping districts, too. When street, sidewalk, or other improvements are being considered, property owners often ask that trees be included to attract people into their shopping area. Public investment in the new city forest includes careful training for city landscape crews. This training consists of classroom seminars and a great deal of on-the-job training. Some of the first street trees were planted in spaces that were too small. As the trees grew, their roots damaged sidewalks and sewers. Under a program supervised by the city arborist, the roots were pruned back and the sidewalks rebuilt with a special kind of paving block. The solution was far less drastic than cutting down the problem trees. The tree program in Seattle is more than just planting new trees. Beautiful old trees represent what the new city forest can be one day. When the city bought this small lot with its fine old chestnut tree, Seattle gained a ready-made park. Green belt areas on Seattle hillsides prevent erosion while adding to the beauty of the city. Preservation of areas like these is important. park built over the freeway made it possible to create a garden spot in the center of downtown Seattle. Waterfalls, trees, grass, and flowers cover five acres across the top of an interstate highway and give pleasure to people of all ages. Another place where people come to enjoy the greening of Seattle is Seattle Center, once home of the 1962 World's Fair. The center attracts visitors from all over the world who sample its culture and entertainment or who just like to be there. Seattle street intersections have been made more attractive through a program called Operation Triangle. Many neighborhoods have become part of this program and have sponsored landscaping and planting projects. Operation Triangle was not limited to neighborhood groups alone. A private donation made possible the planting of this giant sequoia tree downtown. The Tree Bank program is one in which everybody can help. Public funding buys the trees. In exchange for the trees, city residents agree to plant them and take care of them. Without maintenance costs added in, more trees can be planted to grace Seattle streets. A book to help people plant their own trees is available through the Seattle Engineering Department. This owner's manual contains helpful information about which trees thrive best in the areas along the streets and sidewalks. 
For many years now, Seattle's elected officials have encouraged the growth of the new city forest. Here's what their view looks like from City Hall. Seattle, this youthful emerald city, looks to its future. Today's young trees will grow into a sturdy maturity. This green city has wonderful dreams to grow into. Even Chief Seattle might feel at home in Seattle's new city forest.